So Danielle, you have your your solutions. Okay, so you have your your alternative use for these household items. That's fantastic, and and, and they're good. They're out. They're excellent. I love this. <laughs> Socks is a hairless cat tail warmer. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, love it. Uh, a lot of these are really great. I think that you know these are th these are great. Really good job. I think the weak link is the vodka. I really do. I think that that's that's kind of a weak link. Um, so you got six that are fantastic. Two that are okay. If you want to replace these with a different idea for your final, that's up to you. I'm okay with what you have here because what you're going to do now is you're going to select which one of these has the most potential and then you're going to start working out the narrative now i i've been saying this and if you've looked at some of the other uh videos you'll see that i'm concentrating on this i want you to really think about how you how you're going to set the narrative up it's really important yes we are working on illustration but we're also working on our ability to deliver a visual narrative in an expeditious and accurate manner uh for which the viewer will be able to follow the narrative very easily and completely understand what's going on that to a high degree is going to depend on how you set the narrative up okay so i'm using this as an example these two are great examples in setting up the narrative okay so you're defining you're introducing the characters you're, you're defining the problem you're showing a, a potential possible solution uh you're showing that didn't work you're showing a, a, moment, a moment of contemplation the aha moment for the another solution introducing the solution implementing the solution uh, executing the solution, results of the solution, and then finally the epilogue, right? So these, and the same one, the same thing is set up here in a kind of a, a little bit more of a direct way, but definitely introducing and implementing a narrative context into the um, series of illus illustrations. Really, really important. And to a high degree, as I said, that's going to define the success of this assignment. So right now, you want to start determining, well, first of all, pick which one you want to use. Okay, so for example, let's say you use the, the, the socks as a hairless cattail warmer. So first of all, you got the, the hairless cat. So you could show this. You could show a guy or a girl sitting on a couch with their hairless cat. Uh, you're going to have to illustrate a hairless cat, right? Or a cat with no hair on its tail. And then maybe show a, a breeze blowing through the window and, and maybe the cat shivering, right? And a guy or a girl going, oh my gosh, I how do I keep my cat warm thinking about it? And then maybe all of a sudden going, wait a second, aha, I have a sock. So then have them go get the sock, place the sock on the tail, and then show up a scene of the, uh, and of course I'm condensing this, but show a scene of the guy and the cat, and the cat's all warm on the couch now because he's got his, his tail warmer, right? So that's just one possible solution. But that, the, the reason I bring that up is because I want you to think about how you can set up these. So the, 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 the narrative. OK, that is really, really important. And of course, we're going to be working on your illustrative technique. So, of course, that's of the ultimate importance to the final outcome of this assignment. But really, really want to work on that narrative. OK, so if you have any questions, study these. OK, there's all other examples and other assets and resources in the course announcements, as well as in the course resources. So be sure to take a look at those and uh, we'll take it from there. OK, at this point, if you have any questions at all, let me know. If you need help setting up your narrative, let me know. I'll be glad to give you some help. Um, and I'm right here. So uh, questions, comments, concerns, clarifications, if you need help, any of the above, let me know. I'll be, I'll be right on it. OK, great job. Thanks, Danielle.